four and a half years ago, I took a motorcycle ride with my friends and uh, we took a corner, uh, I lost control and I hit something. I woke up two weeks later in hospital. I became a very different person. I didn't know how I could engage with people anymore. I realized that something had to change. My environment wasn't going to change, so it had to be me. I decided to take my health a little bit more seriously. However, going back to the gym wasn't as easy as I thought. A lot of the machines at the gym, I can't use them as a wheelchair user. I was scared to ask for help, so I found out about the interval training feature on the Fitbits. It just made sense for me to try it. The moment you actually try and you actually do, it changes the game. Now that I have this companion with me, it has helped me hold myself accountable to show up to the gym to compare this week's data with last week's data to say, am I pushing harder, am I not pushing harder? I recognize that you've got to do work that matters, work that leaves an impact on people. I cannot take care of other people unless I start taking care of myself. We wanted to find projects that would sort of help the community. So we found these kids here at Tembaletu. Tembaletu is a special needs school. And we came to realize that a lot of these kids aren't able to play sports. So I wanted to help change that. Now I have a profound connection with things and people and understanding the importance of being present. If we can attach meaning and purpose to every aspect of our lives, that's the best way to go about leaving this place, this planet, a little bit better than we found it.